Good morning, guys. Welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. The big news today, guys, is a follow-up on yesterday's monster news, which is the issues that we saw Alex Choi have with his version 3 unicorn Lamborghini Huracan. Whew, almost out of breath talking about that. We all sort of saw the video. We put up the video right away yesterday, uh, kind of right after it happened. This was before Alex Choi made a statement. It was before Sheepy Racy made a statement. It was before I talked to them. So we really didn't know what had happened. One of the first things that I thought it could have been uh, was the blown turbo and actually we got some answers on that that I think you guys are going to be pleased with and probably don't know the entire story until today. Also today guys we have uh, Street Speed 717 had an issue at the track uh, doing a straight line run and uh, got some video of that from some people that happened to be there. I made sure I checked in with Mike to find out exactly what happened to his car. Man a lot, lot of folks having trouble with their cars over the last 24 hours. Also going to be talking about Jay Lono's garage a little bit and we're going to be mentioning TJ Hunt sort of like rebuild process on the wrecked Mustang GT. Get ready guys, it's gonna be a jam-packed episode today. And a huge shout out guys to our sponsor for today's video. Yes, we, we have a sponsor. I'm really excited about it. It's uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is one of the most ambitious RPG projects of 2019. Seriously, one of the most immersive gaming experiences you're ever gonna find on a smartphone. It has an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss battles, which, which I can appreciate literally hundreds of champions to collect and customize. Honestly, I never expected to get this sort of level of performance out on a mobile video game. The level of detail on the champions is uh, pretty impressive, especially since it's on your phone. Raid is getting big super fast, so make sure to get in early right away, because starting now is gonna give you a huge head start on everybody else who's gonna be playing. So make sure to go to the description of this video now and download Raid only through my link to get 50,000 silver immediately and a free epic champion as part of the new player program. Yeah, guys, make sure to check out Raid Shadow Legends, a pretty fun and in-depth RPG, and it's uh, it's on your phone and it's free. Like, what else do you want in a mobile video game? Anyway, back to our main story. All right, guys, so let's get right into the sort of the meat of the main story, which is what actually happened, the truth about what happened to Alex Choi's version three unicorn Huracan. So a lot of things were thrown around yesterday. Now, we specifically said yesterday we didn't know what it was at the time. We just had the footage. It was sent to us pretty much right after it happened. When our video went up, it was still a couple hours before Alex Choi put out any sort of mention about it. It was before Sheepy Racing got on and sort of explained what it was. And I wanted to make sure that we had the story correct for today for sort of the, the follow-up and details that we said that we would have. I talked directly to Sheepy Racing, and you guys can see some of this on his Instagram, about exactly what happened. For starters, there's a couple things that I want you guys to be aware of. One, Alex Choi put up a longer video of sort of what happened than the one that we showed yesterday. So here's his longer version that sort of shows the lead up to what actually occurred. I see, I see. So I want you guys to keep that video in mind as we jump into what we're going to talk about next, which is uh, Sheepy Racing. So Sheepy Racing went on their Instagram and basically said, yes, it was a completely blown turbo. Here's that video. Look at that. When a turbo blows, gentlemen, things happen. It's motorsports. Engine's fine, by the way. <laughs> So just knowing that it was a blown turbo by itself, that's not actually the entire story. Actually, Sheepy Racing saw my Instagram story and actually messaged me about sort of what happened. We ended up talking for about 30 minutes about every sort of step that happened on the way to having that turbo blow. So here's what Sheepy Racing told me. Things happen. Like if you're gonna do like a crazy horsepower Huracan build, things are bound to happen. And when you do twin turbo kits, it can be pretty crazy stuff to deal with. Anyone that's had a twin turbo kit on their car knows that sometimes issues happen. The owner of Sheepy Racing told me that he's given out like 3,000 of these turbo kits over the years. This has only really happened a handful of times. So for him and the work that he does, he said it was an absolute anomaly, not something that happens very often at all. But here's what I thought was really interesting from what the owner of Sheepy Racing told me last night. If you watch in the video, this is why I told you guys to make sure that you kept the video in mind. Alex Choi obviously sees that there's smoke coming out the backside of his car. He was aware that there was an issue, that it was pushing oil essentially. There was 
some damage to the turbo and didn't stop because he was on his way to Coachella. That's a pretty interesting thing by itself. If my 570S was smoking pretty like severely like you can see in Choi's video, I'm not going to continue driving it. I'm going to be pulling over to the side of the road, figuring out what happened and not pushing it. The reason why we got sort of the, the crazy video that we got yesterday is as you can see in the video, and we'll show it again now while we're talking, he obviously sees the smoke. He decides to gun it anyway. You hear him accelerate and that that's when you see like essentially the flames. That's where the major turbo damage was done. If he had stopped earlier, the, there wouldn't have been much of an issue anyway. From my understanding, the turbo is going to be covered from the manufacturer and that it won't cost Alex or Sheepy Racing really much of anything except for sort of like the time involved to sort of put it back together. So no real cost to either Alex or Sheepy Racing based on the turbo sort of malfunctioning. But yeah, I mean, essentially what happened is that Alex saw the smoke, decided to continue going toward Coachella and having a little bit too much fun after we saw the smoke and gunning it, and that's when we saw the thing kind of like explode, the turbo like basically blew up at that point. So that's basically the entire story. But just to confirm with you guys, yes, there was pretty significant damage to the turbo, pushed oil, and then he just he continued to gun it, which is what caused the video that we saw. That's the bare facts, guys. Uh, it's getting a replacement part for the turbo. And they have to see just how damaged it is. They're sending it in. They have to get a replacement part for it. The replacement part should be in in a couple days. So I imagine that we'll be seeing Choice Huracan back on the road very, very soon. And the, it won't be much of an issue at all. But yeah, kind of unlucky, I gotta say, to happen just immediately after sort of doing your debut. What can you do though? Things happen. And speaking of other like amazing supercars sort of having like issues, Mike, Street Speed 717, actually took his 720S with the new turbos, with the tune, out to do some straight line runs and do some fun time. And unfortunately, the oil line came off and you can watch in the video here, the oil line popped off during his run and that's what caused all the massive smoke that we saw. It's hard to see because we're seeing it from the spectators back at the starting line but you can essentially say that there's definitely smoke sort of on the track we'll try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see but yeah not a very good day here's the footage <laughs> Now I talked to Mike, it's a very easy fix, nothing significant at all. Sounds like he's gonna have it back up and running here very, very soon. So yeah, first Alex Joy having an issue and then Street Speed 717 having an issue, although not anywhere near as bad as sort of what Alex Joy went through yesterday. And guys, Houston Crosta actually did a video uh, through Royalty Lifestyle. It has them working on a Lamborghini Aventador with 70,000 miles on it. So just get, just get a feel for that. How many people do you know that run their Lamborghini Aventadors up to 70,000 miles? Now obviously this is through a red company so that's that's part of the reason why it has so many miles but this is one of my favorite parts about Houston's channel is he has the ability to sort of show us a behind the scenes look at like what higher mileage supercars look like after they've been driven for that long I mean there's just not that many people who do that one of my favorite aspects of his channel make sure to go check it out if you want to see what it's like to work on a 70,000 mile Lamborghini Aventador and now we're on to TJ Hunt who uh, as you guys know has been doing a number of rebuilds over the years I uh, just got mostly done with his first Ferrari 458 rebuild, did straight pipes, did some really cool things to it. That car is amazing. The first sort of uh, exposure that I sort of got to TJ Hunt was his Ferrari 458 rebuild process. I really enjoyed it all. Great seeing sort of all the different things that he had to go through <laughs> from getting it from like the wrecked position that it was in back to working order. And now he's working on a wrecked Mustang GT. Uh, he just did his first drive and startup uh, in one of his latest videos about a day ago. Make sure to go check it out if you enjoyed the 458 stuff. And maybe you're not like a giant Mustang fan. Make sure to still give it a chance. It's still TJ Hunt doing pretty fun stuff with the rebuild process. So make sure to go check it out. Link for his channel is in the description. And I want to make sure to mention Jay Leno's Garage, who we don't talk about very often. They uh, they sort of get their own exposure. But they had a Land Cruiser fire truck on the other day, which is one of the craziest looking vehicles I've ever seen. One of my favorite parts about Jay Leno's Garage is that you get to see like one-offs and extraordinarily unique videos. I love those sorts of videos more than I even enjoy sort of the supercar videos, like some of the stuff like the McLaren F1, although that, that was pretty 
pretty amazing too. Make sure to go check out Jay Leno's garage if you want to see what a Land Cruiser fire truck actually looks like. It's, it's pretty it's pretty wild. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today. Our big reminder, guys, we're giving away two thousand dollars to one of my lucky subscribers when we hit a hundred thousand subscribers, trying to get a hundred k before May. I don't know, guys. I don't know if we can do it. It's it's gonna be tough. But we're we're doing five hundred to a thousand new subscribers a day. It's gonna be really close. I'm giving away the money regardless. But we're trying to hit a hundred k before May, guys. So make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want up to the minute supercar community news, just like we did yesterday, where we had the footage of Alex Choi's Huracan having that issue literally minutes after it happened. So make sure to subscribe, guys. We want to get to 100,000 subscribers. We're trying to get this channel to a respectable number of subscribers. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers we've had over the last month. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day, guys. Have a wonderful Saturday. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.